Welcome to the Ordinary Guy Garage. I'm Scott, still an ordinary guy. So we got uh, racing coming up this weekend and we're gonna get ready for it, so hang on. All right, well, there's no secret to it. I've uh, I missed a lot of racing this year. I had all these big plans. I was gonna do all this no prep stuff and even signed up for it and I didn't even make one of the races. Between just everything going on in my life, mainly the house, uh, I just haven't been able to make it. So, but there's always next year. Uh, the thing though that we do have going on this coming weekend is Saturday and Sunday at Medford Drag Strip are the last two races, I believe of the season and so we're gonna go out there and we're gonna run the s10 seemed to be it seemed to run pretty good last time out um, just got a couple little things i need to do to it uh, to get it going and we'll be ready to go so uh let's go get started all right well my last trip to the dyno i went i made two trips to the dyno one when we first put the nitrous on and then we went to the track afterwards and then i took it back down there and we did some more. And one of the things we wanted to do, because there did have a stumble in it, was uh, uh, we wanted to put in a purge valve. So we did, we put in a purge valve, and I, I uh, said, hey, when I get home, I, I got a switch, no big deal, I'll put a switch in it. Well, I've been grounding it out for my purge, so I bought a switch. I have one, but I just bought, picked up another one, so. And this is just, this is just a momentary, this is just a momentary switch. So it's just, you just pull it. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna put it right down here where I could reach it. And then not in line with these, but there. And this is all, this is all pretty much temporary-ish because I'm gonna do some rewiring here over the winter. But the other thing with the stumble was uh, when they first um, put, when they, uh, I don't know if it's when they first started making the kits, but the kit I had was older. And so it um, it had some very cautious um, jetting recommendations and it was so fat that it was, you know, and, and when we were messing with it, we, we, we leaned it out some on the fuel and it still was really rich. And so we really wanted to make sure, or still stumbling, we wanted to really make sure where we were with it so we didn't toast a motor. So we snuck up on it and now we got it dialed in fairly good, I think, um, for, you know, where we're at with it. But I think I'm gonna put that switch right here. Ah, there we go, that'll work. All right. Mm -hmm. Just trying to get the burr off the backside. There's a little bit of burr on the backside of the where I drilled it. So there we go. That thing's on there. There. That's gonna be a tight fit. All right, we've talked about this before. Don't judge me for my wiring right now. It will get better. Okay, let's, we need this guy here. Up here. <sighs> well, that didn't work out very well. I thought it'd be a great spot to put it right here, but I should have looked a little closer because I got this piece of plastic 
part of the dash here that gets right in the way of it. And I could cut it out. However, I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with the dash yet. Um, as far as if I wanna put a, I, I thought about putting a whole panel here or do I wanna take it out and just do a, I, I don't know. So I don't really wanna tear up the dash or cut pieces out of it, especially if it's structural because I don't know if I'm gonna be using it like that. So. <laughs> that's not going to work. So I got to come up with a plan B here, had it all wired in and everything, but it is what it is. Not a big deal. Okay. So I think what I'll do, I'll leave that like that for a minute. I think what I'll do here is there's a, this little package tray right here. Give it a light. Yeah. See this little, package tray thing right in here. We get right up in the top of it here. I think I can reach that and drill. Yeah, and my switch will reach too. And drill a hole through there. And then it'll just be right here. So let's see. First thing I'm gonna do this time. See, I don't wanna, I drilled the holes for this, a couple holes here for these things for the AFR and the tack. And uh, I just I just didn't want to drill, I just don't want to drill more stuff out. You know, I don't want to have, I mean, here it's not a big deal because you're not going to see it. And like I said, it's not, uh, it's not structural, but I just don't want to. like it's pretty much oh yeah 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 that's beautiful right there okay that'll work you know i could have put it i could have put it up here this is my trans brake button but i didn't want to put it there because I already got something going on there and uh, I want to keep it just, you know, just like that. I can put my hand here, you know, it, you know, if I want to try different techniques, I don't have anything else in my way, you know, different techniques for holding my hand here or for releasing the button or whatever. So we're going to leave that area just for the trans brake button. All right. All right, let's try this again. All right, so this isn't actually ideal right there because when I got my harness on and tight, I could reach it, but I gotta really re reach for it. So what I'll do is I'll just leave the right shoulder loose do my burnout, then I can reach in and purge, and then I'll tighten it up. Part of my part of my starting line routine, I guess, uh, is to check my belts. Yeah, I check them a couple of times on my way up there, um, you know, like before I stage and all that. So it's, I'm not going to worry about leaving it loose because I that's part of my routine to tighten it. So that'll be fine. I think it'll be all right. I think it'll be all right right there. Um, I'm wanting to go, and I put this in another video before, I'm wanting to uh, change all of, a lot of this around. Uh, so, I mean, my, my switches have grown here in, oh, that battery's dying, and that light. My switches have grown here, and uh, I'm starting to get a lot, and really what I want is a panel. One of the other things we're going to do over the, or I'm going to do over the winter is, uh, um, I'm going to put a cage in it. We have, a, we have a roll bar in it now and I'm going to change. I'm just going to add on to it and make a, make a cage out of it. So.
All right, we're gonna give it a shot. I should have a purge now. Let's see if we can move back a little bit. That way, maybe, yeah, you can see it. Oop. All right, so turn that all on. Let me get this cleaned up. All right, next thing I want to do is the valves. I want to run the valves just to make sure they are, whoops, doing what they're supposed to be doing. They got haven't lost their adjustment. All right, you wanna loosen up and then retight, or loosen up and then snug up the stud girdle before you adjust them. Now we're gonna get exhaust open on the first one here. All right, exhaust is starting to open, so I'll do the intake, which is 20. That one's good. Now, exhaust opens, all the way it closes, intake starts to close. Now we can adjust the other one. And that one should be 22. Yep, good. All right, next one. Exhaust open. Check the intake. All right, so first thing I like to do, I didn't explain it when I was doing the other side, but first thing I like to do when I get something like a valve cover off is kind of want to look it all over real quick just to make sure that nothing's like really wonky or anything. Yeah, looks good. All right, let's do the first valve. Oh, oh, oh. I almost forgot. All right, exhaust open. Okay. Holy moly. All right, exhaust open. I'm gonna check the intake. Should be 20 thousandths on the intake. Good. Now I'm gonna go until the exhaust comes back closed, the intake opens and then starts to close and then you check the exhaust. All right, now you check the exhaust. Exhaust is 22. That one's too loose, you gotta tighten that one up a little bit. 
Let's see if we can just, might be able to just hit it like that a little bit. Let's see, which one is this? 22. Yep, that did it. Alrighty. <coughs> Off to the next one. All right, that's gonna do it. Um, so I got valves adjusted, got the purge, val uh, purge line switch connected. The only thing left to do is adjust the traction bars in the back and I have to wait till Bean's here, he can help me with that. But other than that, we're, we're pretty good. But you can see my wiring, man, I, I gotta do something about that. So that's gonna be a winter project. I think, that, I think I'm gonna do wiring, uh, do uh, convert the roll bar to a cage so I can get the chassis certified and some suspension stuff. I was gonna make some suspension changes, but it was suggested to me that I didn't. And really, honestly, I got two races left. I, I'm not gonna touch anything other than my traction bars um, for this next race. And then I'll make my changes over winter and start fresh at the, at the next season. So anyways, thanks for watching and hanging out. Subscribe if you haven't and make, leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Um, I'll see you next time.